Hey, what up, what up? Timmy and Natu here, back in another video. So tonight, we will be talking about how to take product photos at home during this quarantine period. So I want to talk about this. I've been trying to get some gigs to take some product shots of their products, whatever they're selling. So let's talk about that. Okay, if you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me posting a couple of pictures like this. So it's actually a way of me to practice my product photography because nowadays during this quarantine, I think that product photography will be beneficial for a lot of people, not only for photographers, but also for business owners. Owners. I will show you what you can do to use, what you can use around your house to take these awesome pictures, how to compose your pictures. So I actually did the shoot last night and I actually filmed the process. So this is last night's Timmy. Last night's Timmy. So I already have my pseudo set or my tiny studio set set up here. I'm gonna show you. So there, so I'm using this fake vinyl wood panels, and just plain white background, a couple of lights. I don't have yet the proper top-down light, so just set it up like that. So what will we be taking photos of? We'll be taking photos of this guy, Heineken beer. Yeah. So I will be using my other camera. I don't know if you see it, but I'll be using this 800D with a 50mm lens. So that will be my setup. And just, I'm gonna time lapse me setting up the stage. Time lapse answer. <music> so we're back I'm gonna show you guys how it looks like uh, what I used oh my god it's so there you go I'm gonna show you guys how it looks there I'm gonna show you guys how it looks so here it is so there's salsa guac chips some pistachio nuts and the beer so first I'm gonna try out without the beer being higher so let's go b-roll check out some of the photos that I took so here you go I used two cameras the 800D with the 50mm on it and this EOS R with the 35 1.8 the RF mount lens so first I'll show you the 35 1.8 photos I'll show you my favorites like this one this was my favorite shot out of every thing that was shot on the 35mm 1.8 so I really like how it looks like it's from a uh, it can come from like a magazine so yeah i'm gonna be pitching this to some people over at icap icap is the independent creators association of the philippines so when people are looking for product photography first i can show them these pictures that i took and hopefully book a couple of gigs out of that so this is my favorite coming from the 35 mm 1.8 and Here's the flat lay from that, from the 35mm. So here I really like the composition. I like the colors of the salsa. I like the color of the guacamole and it's green. It goes with the Heineken and the pistachio. Yeah, so it makes a lot of sense. That's what I'm talking about. So moving over to the 50mm 1.4 that was shot on the APS-C camera. So if you missed the video about the 50mm, 
and APS-C sensors. You can, there's a card up there, you can watch that video, but here is my favorite shot for the 50mm 1.4. So here you go, that's so dope. It was shot at a pink, this was 1.4. Yeah, this was 1.4, I believe. So you can just see the composition, it makes sense again. So using that vinyl tile that looks like wood, that's actually just vinyl. So it's a nice touch. It looks like it's real wood. And then here's my favorite flat lay from that shoot from that from this batch. So yeah, again, I put the, my new light at the bottom just to make a little more green pop out. I was using my my new light which i will be talking about soon it's the aperture mc any color anytime okay so there you have it basically what i'm trying to say is that you can take nice photos even with just the things around your house so you saw me take a picture of a wallet take a picture of a bottle of beer take a picture of an old film camera took a picture of uh, my poker set and it's a nice way to practice hone your photography 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 skills while you're stuck at home make the most out of it but as i said just make sure the composition makes sense you can't be taking pictures of a coin and your cap just to add things there make sure it makes the image the image tells a story so like for that beer picture i used like uh, chips because chips usually goes with beer and some pistachio then salsa then the guacamole and then for the for the wallet i took pictures of coins it's a treasure chest which like treasure you hide it in your wallet you hide your things in your wallet there's probably a couple of things i could have added to make that photo more interesting but at the end of the day it worked for me and uh, yeah just make sure your, comp your compositions make sense and you don't just throw things in there just for the sake of throwing them in there all right so there you have it you don't have to be you don't have to let the ECQ stop you from taking photos that you like taking photos that you think will get you jobs so I hope I get one soon uh, but I'll continue to practice so maybe I'll show you guys some more of my work that I want to do so there you have it you don't have to be really at a studio to do it so if you already have lights make the most out of it if you don't have lights like this you can shoot during the afternoon go outside natural light is good act natural light is actually for me the best yeah uh, let's not make the ECQ an excuse to not practice so but do it at your own pace because it's different for everyone that it's different how everyone copes so yeah no pressure though but again keep practicing so right about now that's it for me good night peace out see you on the next one